But those of you who know the Toyota way, the lead approach, do you know how change management happens? Top of the pyramid, people. You need to change people's behavior in order to change a corporate culture because the culture... Strategy is a pattern of choices. Hockey stick is just one type of pattern of choices. And you have to take into account many things. So these are just some of the sub choices you have to make when you decide to enter the market and start to build a company. <clears throat> What's your exit strategy? Are you building to sell or building to grow? Where are you in the value chain? And where you are in the value chain will shift depending on where you are in the maturity of your company. What's your innovation strategy? Are you a product innovation or a value in in innovation? Are you a sustaining innovation or disruptive innovation? These are just some of the choices you need to make. It's not just about, oh, get lots of money, get lots of customers, and things are great. That's not how it works in the real life. Steve Blank defines startup as an organization formed to search for a repeatable and scalable business model. So Uber is not a startup. I don't, I don't just ignore the popular definitions. We're going to use the real definition. You're searching. And then eventually you become a business which is able to execute. But in the middle, you're a scale-up. And what I want to do is I want to make the word scale-up popular. Who cares about startups? Startups are nothing. Startups are not creating any value. Startups are babies. We want people who can at least crawl and walk. So scale-ups have the objective to develop the ability to execute and the credibility to attract. Those are the two things you're focusing on in scaling up the smart way. Not customer attraction, that's a false metric. What you're developing is the ability to execute, and the metric for that is profitability, and the credibility to attract, the credibility so that you can go and, so some people call it the branding, but it's more than that, it's the credibility, and knowing where you fit in the whole value chain. So scaling smart, the way I define it, is maximizing execution <coughs> while managing uncertainty. Managing uncertainty because you cannot predict the future. Who knows what life is going to be like? And we're entering a very uncertain time. Who knows next year if we're going to be able to sell as easily into the States as we do now? And you have all of these entrepreneurs who say, oh, we're going to make money when we go into the States. It's going to get harder and harder to sell south of the border, no matter what 